We start with a big story tonight. The violence over the weekend here in the valley. Seven shootings leaving five dead and 15 others wounded. A party in Phoenix ended in a hail of gunfire Friday night. A 14 year old girl was killed and eight others were taken to the hospital. Police say about 100 people were at a party near 10th Avenue in Hatcher when the shots rang out. Another night turned deadly Saturday night at a nightclub. Two people were killed and two others were hurt at the Lounge Soho near Alma School Road and the US 60. Officers found a gun on the side of the road where a car sped away from the scene. Early this morning, one person in Tempe was shot near Kyrene in Guadalupe. Police say that victim is expected to survive. And two people were shot overnight in the area of 19th Avenue and Dunlap Avenue in Phoenix. When officers arrived, they found a man and a woman with multiple gunshot wounds. Both victims were taken to the hospital. The man is expected to recover and the woman is in critical condition. Good evening, everyone. Thanks so much for joining us. I'm Kariba Devine. I'm Mark Curtis. So far out of all of this violence, only one man has been arrested. Team Charles Rachel Cole is in Gilbert after a woman was shot by a stranger in her own apartment. Rachel. Good evening to you, Mark and Kribe. I had a chance to speak with the 19 year old's friend, her, the victim in this case, Rachel Hansen. She says she had her whole life and her whole world in front of her and was really a kind and compassionate person who's gone too soon. Something kept telling me inside, go back to that post, look and see what that post says. And I read through it and it had mentioned Rachel Hansen, 19 year old woman with a single gunshot wound was found. Cheyenne Walters walking us through the heartbreaking moment she found out about Rachel. I didn't finish reading the post. I called her immediately and it went straight to voicemail. Hopeful calls to Rachel's cell phone, but no answer on the other line. I was like, oh my God, her phone's off. I, I need to figure out what the rest of this says. I never thought it was going to say that she had passed. She passed alone and scared. She didn't have family in town. Her mother was out of town. Her mother had to get on a plane just to say her goodbye to her daughter. Gilbert police still actively investigating, responding officers finding the 19 year old with a single gunshot wound in her apartment here at Redstone. I have also been sent a screenshot of the apartment complex's response to this unfortunate situation and they were just advising people to always make sure your doors are locked, get to know your neighbors, take those extra security measures. Walters telling us this shooting happening just days after Rachel's prized mare that's pregnant with twins was allegedly stolen from her property in Queen Creek. She lit up with so much joy and she was just telling me about how much her family means to her and how excited she was for this pregnancy to happen and for her mare to have her first baby because that mare was her prized possession. She loved that mare more than anything in the world. While police haven't confirmed whether or not the alleged horse theft is connected, Walters believes this shooting was no accident. Just finished moving her stuff back into that apartment on Thursday. Came and saw me first thing Friday morning and less than 24 hours later, it is released that she was shot and killed in that same apartment that she had just barely moved back into. And I don't find that a coincidence at all. Rachel was taken to Chandler Regional Medical Center, but didn't survive. This never should have happened. Never. Her parents should not be having to bury their baby. Can't even imagine what her parents are going through. And as this investigation continues, Gilbert police are asking for anyone with information to come forward. You can do that digitally, online, or through the phone number that's the non-emergency line. We've posted both of those for you in the free 12 News app. We're live in Gilbert tonight. Rachel Cole, 12 News. All right, Rachel, thanks.